Scary Clown Face Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. So I'm going to begin by smoothing down my eyebrows with a wax-based hair product, although you could use a glue stick if you'd like, and then covering them with powder. I'm using cornstarch. You just want to make sure that they aren't sticky. So now I'm going to be painting my face white, and I'm going to leave a triangle above and below each eye. And then the area that I'm going to be painting my mouth in, just plain too. So now I'm going to be painting those triangles around my eyes with a very bright green paint. And then paint a circle around your nose with red. And when you're painting around your nose, you don't want it to be an actual circle. You want it to appear to be a circle. So there's going to be, it's not going to be completely perfect. But if you look at it straight on, it wants, it's going to look like a circle. Yeah. Anyways, and then paint the lips of your clown with red. So now with gray eyeshadow, I'm going to be sketching out all of my wrinkles and all those smile lines and the details in my face, and I'm going to start with the eyebrows. And then I'm going to be doing the forehead wrinkles. And then the smile lines. crow's feet and then some bags under my eyes and now I'm going to be shading in the wrinkles and that cleft chin with just a little bit more of that same gray eyeshadow but a little bit bigger brush So now I'm going to be blending a darker green over the part of my eyelid that is below the clown's eyebrow. So I'm just going to darken that in just a little bit. And also add just a tiny bit underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to be deepening all of my uh, shading with some black eyeshadow. But I'm going to really focus that underneath those eyebrows. So where I put the dark green but then all the way in through the center. You want that to be really nice and dark. And also shade around the perimeter of your circle, of your nose. So now I'm going to be contouring my face with a medium fluffy brush and some of that lighter gray eyeshadow. So just go through and you don't want your face to be completely white and so flat looking you want to give it some dimension and this is where you're going to do that so now i'm going to be applying green eyeshadow over my eyelids this is going to prevent creasing 
and then I'm going to be defining all of those little details that we've been adding with some thin black lines. And you don't want to go too crazy with the black lines because that's going to make it, if everything's outlined, it's going to look a lot less realistic, but you just want to sharpen things with the black lines. So now with white body paint, I'm going to be painting in all of my teeth. So you're going to want to leave a tiny little gap between each tooth, or at least try to leave a little gap between each tooth. And don't worry about your teeth being perfect, okay? So they can be jagged and some of them can be broken, different lengths, really anything goes here. Uh, you want your teeth to look like they have never been to a dentist and all you eat is pixie sticks and they're rotten and gross. That's the plan. So now I'm going to be tight lining with black eyeliner on my upper and lower water lines and then filling in the center of my lips. So now I'm going to be painting the gums with red body paint. So on the top row of teeth, I'm just going to go around the top of the tooth, of each tooth, I guess. And then for your bottom row of teeth, you're going to go around the bottom of each tooth. So it's almost like putting a little U on top of the teeth, or around the teeth, on top or bottom, depending on which row. So then I'm going to be filling in the rest of those gaps with black eyeliner. Or not eyeliner. Jeez, black body paint, not eyeliner. I suppose you could use eyeliner if you wanted to. So now I'm going to be discoloring my teeth with some yellow, and your yellow doesn't have to go on smooth. You can make it streaky, you can make some a little darker than other ones, you know, you want them to look gross. So this is where they start looking gross. And then add some brown. And as I'm adding the brown, I'm going to focus on the top half of the top row of teeth and the bottom half of the bottom row of teeth. And then I'm going to be highlighting my lips with some pink and I'm going to be using a dabbing motion. You don't want to use smooth strokes when you're highlighting lips because your lips aren't completely smooth. And so if you do it this way, then it makes them look just a touch more realistic. And then also highlight the gums with a little line under each tooth when there's enough room. So now I'm going to be doing some highlights with white body paint. I'm going to add a little line on top of each tooth. This is going to help make them look kind of wet. And then add a highlight to my circle nose. Highlights to the lips. And then a thin highlight on each wrinkle. I'm going to be defining the edge of my lips with a black eyeshadow and a thin angled brush. I don't want to use um, black body paint and make a really harsh line because we don't want anything too terribly harsh, but using just this little bit of eyeshadow is going to really make the lips stand out from the white background without making it look like it's been outlined, if that makes any sense. And also you want to darken around the bottom of your teeth to separate the gums from the lips. Lips. Sorry, I can't talk. And then I'm going to brighten the highlight on the nose with some white eyeshadow. Apply very thin eyeliner. Okay. 
curl your lashes and apply some mascara. And now I'm going to be pinning my hair up behind my head and I'm going to basically be creating a very loose bun. You don't want a bun that's too tight because then it's going to create this noticeable lump beneath your wig, but if you create a loose bun, then it's just going to sort of smooth down under the wig and not show very much. So then I'm going to be adding myself a green clown wig. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!